All right, this is Eve Eternity with Wrath of Kronos, and now we're on map 32, the final level, the super secret level, Enigur... I still can't pronounce that word. Okay, look, I'm just gonna level with you guys for a moment here. Uh, I've actually been trying out this level. I've been trying to record it. I've actually become very familiar with the level because it is ridiculously hard. Uh, just to give you a quick taste of that, look at the top left corner. There are 1,364 monsters on this map, and in case you didn't know, that's a fucking lot. Um, let me just kind of show you what's out here, actually, real quick. So, look at this. There are, in fact, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this a step further. Uh, let me just show you exactly what we're dealing with. There's all these guys over here. There's an entire building over there full of monsters. Entire towers over here filled with monsters. Entire things over here filled with monsters. Look at all those of Fritz. Um, and then look at all of this. Look at this. And this is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. You, you, you haven't seen anything. You haven't seen... Sh Look at how many fireballs are flying around right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, do you get what I'm trying to say? And maybe you don't, because really, here's the thing. It's not so much that there's a lot of monsters on this map. It's the fact that we're playing Wrath of Kronos with the Doom Monster Replacement Pack. And previously, when we first entered this level... Uh, they started us out at level 1, as you can see in the bottom left there. Now let me tell you, I have been trying, I have been trying to play this map at level 1. And even with the setting of giving ourselves our first blue mana weapon, it is still an exercise of frustration, the likes of which I haven't seen in a very long time. To the point where it's just kind of more of a chore than actually being fun. It is just, it is just too challenging. And look, the deal is, this, mo this mod was not made with this mod in mind. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I knew that going in. That's fine. Not complaining at all. It's really just a matter of that. Eve Eternity was not designed with Wrath of Kronos, but that's okay. You know, it's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. If you look at the bottom left, I have a new save file where I've managed to get to this level at level 20, which I think is a little bit more appropriate considering what we're about to deal with. Um, and as I said last time at the end of the last episode, last video, I'm gonna try a different build. I'm, I'm going with a healing build this time, so it's not gonna be overtly cheesy. It's still gonna be pretty challenging, but, uh, we've just given ourselves a little bit of an edge just to make it a little less, you know, frustrating keyboard throwing out the window, throw your computer into a, l a lake kind of situation. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, I've already maxed out healing, which is useful. We also have Holy Bolt. We're going for that sort of offensive healer tree. So, anyway, enough talk. Let's just go ahead and play the level properly now. So, yes, let's kill this cultist. Now, the downside is I have zero mana. So, we're going to do this first uh, part without any mana. So, that's okay, because we do have our Holy Bolt. Look at that. Now, what's really cool about the Holy Bolt, actually, is not only does it do damage, but when you deal damage and you're next to where the Holy Bolt exploded, you can actually heal yourself with it. Which is really awesome. So it's kind of a healing... Again, it's it's offensive healing magic, and it's just beautiful. Look at that. See? I'm already maxed out. I, I kind of want to be a little more uh, stingy with my uh, healing, though. Or with my magic, I should say. I don't want to use up too much of it, if I can help it. Yes, go ahead and fight each other. That's perfectly fine. We like infighting. Alright, so as you might have guessed, or as it tends to be in these Doom 2 maps... There are three keys we need to get. Go figure. Um, but they each are locked up in a very massive part of the map. Like, this map almost feels like three little maps all rolled into one. There we go. Come here. This map really does feel like three maps rolled into one. Uh, we can access the blue key in that tower over there. Um, the yellow key is... I mean, actually, it is color-coded, isn't it? Yeah, the yellow key is over where that yellow tower is over there. Past where that Arachnotron was. Um... And then there's a red key, which is not too far away, but still, uh, we're gonna have to get to it. I think it's on that side somewhere, beyond this building. This map is huge, guys, let me just tell you. Um, so I think we're gonna go with this purple building here first. We actually have a little bit of mana now. Uh, I may actually go ahead and use this, just so we have a little bit more. Oh yeah, I have a Morning Star, I forgot about that. Anyway. Kind of aim that incorrectly. Oh yeah, also real quick, um, I have going for mostly a constitution, wisdom, and intellect build. Just so you see how that's going. Alright, so. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me go take care of these guys down here. 
There's a couple of them. So yeah, not doing this blind. I actually have beaten this level before because again, I just, I had to figure out how to beat it too because it's a very long and complicated level. I mean, I imagine this actually, I imagine this video is gonna be at least an hour long. Like no joke, this is gonna be a long video. This is a huge fucking map. And there's a shit ton of enemies as you already saw. So really my goal right now is to get my hands on, hold on, I don't know if you can see it from here. There's a there's a firestorm in there. That dirt that would be very nice to have. Uh, in order to get to that though, we're gonna have to fight through a couple things here. Let's start on this side actually. Oh, oh, I want that. All right, hang on. Now, you do have to be close to the impact zone, I think, to get healed. That is one thing. Okay. We have not leveled up, but we do have an accessory. Chance of a chance to restore health. God, that's going to be useful. We really are going for a healing build this time. Jesus. Okay. There we go. Just get a little bit of my health back. I tell you, the Serpent Staff's actually pretty nice when you have a lot of intelligence. <laughs> you dick. There we go. Oh, we leveled up. Alright, so... Do we have the ability to get this yet? No, we still need a few more points. Uh, Consecration's a really nice ability. We'll be showing that off later. And, and since, we're, we, since we've, uh, we're level 20, so we already have a pathway chosen. So we're doing the uh, Purifier path. Since we're doing that... We have this little passive ability, Consecration, which is normally just a healing pulse. Or no, it's a normally a damage pulse, but now it's a healing pulse as well. I had that reverse there. Um, oh yeah, let's do some stats too. Um, let's just, let's just keep it even. Fuck it. I mean, I think we're gonna be fine. Oh hi, right, you guys. But this level, I will say, despite it being very long and obnoxious with a lot of enemies, it is very beautifully designed. I mean, wait, till, there's some stuff in here that's truly amazing. Like, I still, I still have to give props for another one. Jesus Christ! I have to give props because you know, like they, they really did an amazing job with this level and just with this wad in general. You know, it's still a really good wad. Okay, the Philosopher's Stone, more health from potions. Again, <laughs> really going for a fucking healing build. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, that didn't open up that. Did that open? Yes, okay, good, good, good. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, hang on, I gotta show you this. There is a massive pile of, of lost souls coming out here. Hold on. We need to get up. We need to get up there. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Hang on. We may have to let them fight each other a little bit. We also may need to use some conventional healing instead. There are so damn many of them. Okay, hold on. I need to find a place to save. Um, uh, uh, sure. You ain't seen nothing yet, folks. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is just one section of the map. Just bear that in mind, that this is just a small chapter in this map's novel. This is an episode of this map's season. This is, I'm running out of analogies here. Um, it's a big fucking map, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There we go. I managed to kill 300 enemies in a row. 
Yeah, there has to be at least 300 lost souls in that closet. Okay, thousand more enemies to go, right? By the way, how are we doing on armor? Yeah, let's let's equip some things. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love all that stuff. Okay. Now then. Hang on. Where did that come from? Oh, that's from way over there. We don't need to worry about that. We're fine. Where are you guys coming from? Legitimately, I actually don't remember. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, level up. Uh, we have five points to spend here. Let's max out Holy Bolt. And, okay, we need a little bit more blunt mastery. There we go. Okay. Consecration. This is a very interesting spell, but hold hold that thought for a moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Okay. Consecration. Uh, let me just show this off real quick. This is really interesting. Check this out. Creates a little explosion around you. I think you can increase the radius with every point spent. Very large. And very powerful. And now, with our purifier pathway, it heals as well. Not only you, but teammates if you're playing that way. Which is kind of cool. Oh. Hi. Oh god, I want that. How do I get to that? Shit. I don't know. Well, let's just keep moving, because I know where the blue key is, and that's kind of where we're headed next, so... Uh, this way, actually. Hi there! Yes, I'm here for your modern arts and fear books. May I has them, please? Oh, here, let me dem let me demonstrate. Come over here. Come get consecrated. Fine, don't. Asshole. Alright, so the blue key's in this area, actually. We need to hit all these switches. Uh, let me just... Oh, I don't have enough magic. Fine. Ain't so scary when I got some good power. that switch. And hit this switch. Yeah, sorry. My, uh, my mouse was hitting my my mouse has somehow gained the ability to turn down my speaker because it's like the cord is sitting right... I don't even know how I can explain this without you seeing it, so never mind. Anecdotal, doesn't matter. Here's our blue key, though. Except they're locking it away from us. As you might imagine, this is a trap, as, it t as things tend to be in this game. Nice fire, this is mine. Okay. This is actually kind of a cool room, though. Alright, then we have to hit that switch, but before we do, we just grab that, and that. Cool. I wish we still had some power for Consecration. Also have to purify them a different way. Thank you very much. And blue key! Okay, one third of the puzzle is done. But believe me, we have a long way to go. That's... oh shit, I forgot you exist. Right. Oh my god! Alright, hang on. I actually might want that a little bit more than this. Living Steel Amulet's one of my favorites. Always having armor is wonderful. And there is a Wraith Verge in this map, so I think eventually we're going to have all the weapons. Hi 
I'm legitimately trying to remember what this does. Oh, right. Okay, of course. Now, I think... No, hold on. Let me double check here. Okay, good. This is open. Okay. We can get this. All right, so... We can grab these goodies. And maybe... Well, we already have it now, so whatever. <laughs> All right, so with the blue key acquired, let's see. I guess that means we should go for the red key. Oh, shit. Nah, whatever. I don't care. I'll waste it. It's fine. Perfectly good purple flask, but whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Okay, uh, next step would be... Oh, yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay. Carefully minding all of the... Uh, uh, thanks, sure. I guess I can be up here. Why not? Well, let's try to take out some of these guys while we're up here. It'll be a lot easier when we have the Wraith Verge, but you know what? Fuck it. The stupid Iron Lich decided we needed to be up there, so I guess we'll just be up there then. Alright, that's perfectly fine. We could also hop down there, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go actually let's actually go up there. We can go this way though. We don't have to go up to where all those things are. Also, I don't know how to get to that invincibility. So if any of you fine folks know how to do that, let me know. Anyway, we can go this way. Alright. This is a very interesting room. A lot of interesting creatures in here. Wait till you see what this culminates in. It's quite interesting indeed. I forgot how much I love this thing. Explosive melee is just something I don't think I'll ever not be a fan of. Thank you, 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 thank you. All these things are wonderful. Okay. More consecration. Let's just, yeah, keep evening that out. Alright, now watch this. A million arch vials. Now, there's actually a fun way to... There is a way to kill them all, or at least make killing them easier. Yes, come and get consecrated, dickheads. I might have to do something a little different for you. Alright, you don't even have to waste mana on these fuckers. Watch this. Hold on, where is it? So check it out, this switch... Oh, right. It starts these crushers over here. Which should actually kill them, for the most part. But let's go ahead and speed up the process, shall we? There we go. Nice smooshed arch vials. Wonderful. Now we can hit this switch, just to give us a little bit of a shortcut for later. We don't need to go that way later, that's where the red key is. I mean, we will, don't worry, but I think we should go for the yellow key first before we go in that direction. So, that's what we're gonna do, actually. However, now we can go out here. Man, you got shot up. Where'd you come from? Anyway, the reason why I came over here, actually, more specifically, Okay, let me save before I do this, actually. I want to run down here, grab that. Don't summon it. Okay, thank you. Hit these three switches. That raises all those. I don't know if you got a good look at that, but these. You see these platforms raising up? That's what those switches do. So, very important. Very useful. Now then, uh, let's go get the yellow key, shall we? 
In order to do that, we're going to have to get back over there. So let's go this way. Climb over here. Climb up this. Back down here. Okay. Again, I think it only heals if it does damage. This is a very, like... This is a very, um... Oh my god, what's the name of that priest build and Discipline? World of Warcraft? Anyway. Explode in holy light, asshole. Alright. Moving swiftly along. Grab all this. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. I heard that. Where'd you go? This man keeper sniping is gonna get annoying after a while. Eh, we'll deal with them later. Let's go in here. Welcome to the yellow key room. Or where the yellow key is stored, that is to say. say I forgot how like really powerful the healing build can be because like you just kind of feel invincible <laughs> I have yet to be truly worried about my health I mean the armor is helping too but I mean I guess all the builds for most characters are pretty powerful there we go oh hi there now then, uh, let's see. Yeah, what's, I'm just gonna keep that train going. I mean, just slowly leveling up. Very, very slowly. I mean, we already have so much power as it is. I mean, meh. Now then, let's see. Oh, uh, yes, of course. what's up there but there's actually a little way to climb up hold on let me see so I think you have to go up here and then you can kind of hold on there's a way to do it I've done it before why is it suddenly not working <laughs> of course when I'm recording this doesn't work well you know if you're playing try this try sliding up there at some point when you're playing this or maybe I need to hit the switch is that a problem no, I don't know what the problem is, but I used to be able to climb up there. I don't know why it's not letting me now. So yeah, you can just kind of stand where the consecration's happening and just let things come to you. It never fails. It rarely fails. Alright, now we can go in here. Yep, there's the yellow key. 
and a metric fuck ton of arch vials. I mean, they sure do love their arch vials. Let me see, how much of this do we have? We have three of them. Okay, not quite enough. But we can do this. I actually had to uh, use a little bit of healing back there. Okay, <laughs> I think they're dead. All right, so now we have a yellow key. Couple goodies in here. Okay. Also, I think there's some goodies around here that we can grab as well. Let's see if I can get my hands on some of them. Oh, hi. Oops, wrong button. Keep forgetting, I set all my hotkeys in Wrath of Kronos to 1 through 4, so sometimes I just instinctively reach for the, the number keys to switch weapons and I forget I just can't really do that. I have to use the, uh, the mouse wheel for that, mostly. Okay. There's an item over there we can grab, and I feel like I just may as well gra grab it as long as we're here. Let's see. Or maybe there's another switch I need to hit, too. That's the ticket. But then, isn't there... Yes, there is. Okay. And this is how you get out of here, I think. I'm trying to remember where this leads, actually. Oh! Now this, dearest friends, is actually our exit. Hang on a moment. Let's see if I can give you a good view of this. You see this? This little tower here requires all the keys. You can only see the yellow side of it. But once we hit all three of those with all the keys intact, it's going to give us access to this green tower way over there. So we're working our way towards that, slowly but surely. Okay. Now that we've climbed up here, start making our way that way. Although, actually, we don't need to go that way yet. Actually, we need to go get the red key first. Let me just show you what's over here real quick. Also, and grab some of that stuff. Or maybe we can get the red key from here. I mean, this is the red key area. Oh, hi. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, we may as well just grab the red key then, because we're in the we're in the right spot for sure. Hang on. All right. Uh, more consecration. Cool. All right. So the red key is. Oh, it's 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 in there somewhere. I actually tried. To, I need to try to remember.
know if I can reach him from there. But I can throw that switch. Oh, crap. God, arch vials galore around here, I tell you. Never... No, no, no. Well, it's better when they don't resurrect anything, that's for sure. Now we can go through here. We're trying to uh, raise a whole bunch of platforms to get up to that big red switch over there. Excuse you. I think that did it. Yep, it did. Okay. See? Now, to the magic of the Doom Engine jump mechanics, we can do this. Oh, look at that. A new purple flask. No, you don't have to do that. Destroying your own creation, huh? I don't blame you. Those former commandos are assholes. Excuse you, bat. Do you mind terribly? Now then, the red key is actually up there. Excuse you. Now I gotta remind myself how to get to it. <laughs> um, I think... Hold on, let me see here. Gotta get in there. Or... Maybe this way? No, we need a red key to open that. Well, thankfully, the red key's right here. Perfection. We now have all the keys. Oh, actually, this is a little hidden thing. Not entirely necessary for beating the level, but it does give us this wonderful device. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Now that we've done all that fun stuff, let's go back to where we were earlier. That whole area we were talking about that had the green stuff around it. Oh, hi. Come here. There we go. enemies coming from. Eh, screw it. Let's just keep moving. We ain't got time for that bullshit. More consecration. More of that stuff. Out of my way. I'm trying to remember what... Oh. Hi. No, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Thank you, though. I'm actually, I'm actually okay on that. Um... It's a very interesting area I could show you over there, though. We kind of did this in a little bit of a different order than I was expecting, which is actually really interesting because I didn't think you could do that. Um, so it's kind of cool. There are multiple pathways here, apparently. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. We can just make it past this dude. Oh, no. We can't make it past that dude. There are lasers in the way. Well, then. That's okay. Well, it's nice to know there are multiple ways to get around here, though. But we have all the keys that we need. So now... Let me see. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so once you have all the keys, look for this panel here. It is across from that room, past the yellow key area. So you open this blue key door. And 
here we are. The green area. There we go. We're heading towards that giant tower, like I mentioned before. Now, there are ways to get into these little areas, which is what we need to do. That may require getting in there first, which I also need to remember how to do. So maybe we're not ready to be here yet, is the bottom line. We may, in fact, need to go out there. So hang on a moment. That's right. Okay. So indeed. We need to get over to this center area here, if I'm not mistaken. Thankfully, there's a nice shortcut right here to do that. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's go up here. I think there's a pathway here. I think we are going to see that little area after all. If I'm doing this right. I'm trying to remember if I'm actually doing this right in the first place. And if not, whatever. You get to see more of the level. Man, those little Medusas can be assholes, let me tell you. Do we have boots? Well, we have those boots. We don't have boots of speed, do we? Guess not. Yeah, we might still be able to pull this off. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Professional gaming. Only on Wham Ninja Bull Hill. Wow! John, for God's sakes. I think you're good. There we go. Okay, now that we're over here, you notice how it lags when we save? That's because of the amount of monsters that are on this map, to which there are a fuck ton of them. There we go! Okay, it had to do the good old strafe jumping technique. That switch, right, that's the one I was aiming for. Alright, so this is the area I was talking about earlier. Now, I'm not sure how we would do this with other classes, but if you're playing as a cleric, you have to hit that switch with a gun in order to unlock it. In the, in the case of the cleric, you need to use the Lightbringer. So then we can hop up here and do all that biz. We're going to do that a couple times, actually. Before we do, let me take care of these very rude assholes who are trying to kill us. With something that doesn't require green mana because we need it. we could use instead. Now then. There we go, Jesus. 
Helps if I aim properly. Alright, all the lasers are down. Pardon me very much. Thank you. Goodbye. And we got to hit that switch. I think that's the thing that was in our way earlier. Because now, I think... It's a big if. But I think... Nope, that's still closed. Okay, hang on. What are we missing there? Is there another switch in here that we're missing? Either that, or there's a yellow key door over here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that could have been our trick. Here it is. Okay, this is where we need to go. Okay. Oh, damn shadow imps, dark imps, if you will. Okay, so this whole area is really interesting. This is another side of the whole green area that we were looking at earlier. There we go. Did they get rid of that asshole? Okay, so. We need the blue key to open this, by the way, just so you know. Throw that switch. Which I believe. Okay, now, now we can go in here. This is where we want to be. Now we can start opening up, opening up some other pathways for us. All right, I think we need to run across and hit this. Right, that door. No. Come here, where'd you go? Alright, so now we can start exploring these little areas. Leads us to another one over here. Oh, actually, no, these are different little pathways. But they're important. They have switches in them. Just like that. And then let's go back out here.
Okay. Another one of these. For good measure. Oh, hi. Okay, now I think if we've done all this correctly, I think there now is a way to get to the center. There may have always been. Yep. Oh. Or else this is the way to do that. Possibly. No, there's a way, though, to get inside here. The center portion. That's what we want. However, I think I'm starting to see kind of how to do that, so hang on a moment. Yeah, let's go back outside. I just played this not too long ago, and I'm already trying to remember how to get to certain places, but we need to get up there, basically, is what we're trying to do. Alright, so... Let's see. I think we do need to go back up here, though. In the meantime... Consecration... Dip, dip, dip. Alright, let's see here. Didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to get in there. There it is. Okay, perfect. Now this opens up the door to this, or it leads leads the way all the way over there, I should say. Then this lowers down so we can get the fuck out of here. Actually kind of convenient, because then we can go this way. Alright. Now then, remember, we got all the keys now. So now we can walk across this bridge, and we're headed towards that thing. But first we have to go to this crazy green pyramid and deposit all of our keys. Except that we need to... First, I'm just now realizing, go back over here. We need to lift up that portion of the bridge. And that requires this stuff over here, so... There's so many steps to this level, I tell you. It's nuts. Alright, let's see. There's gonna be a switch somewhere in here. That's back out here. Okay, so hang on. Here we go. Yet another arch vial. Yeah, that works really well now, Jesus. When it's leveled up, it's insanely powerful. Okay. Now well, more of you, of course. That's such a ridiculous range, too. Well, I did not mean to do that, but whatever. Okay, good. I have another one of these. That's what I was hoping for. Come here. Okay. Now let's go down here. There we go. We're finally making progress here. Slowly but surely. In fact, how long are we going? Almost 50 minutes. Okay. Now then, let's quickly leap across. Yep. Now we can do this crazy madness. So we're going to climb up this. Alright, red key goes there. Blue key goes there. Yellow key goes here. And then we can hit this. And that opens up something over here. Actually, I don't remember exactly what, but... Ok, 
Got to do a little mountain climbing here. Some weird jumping you gotta do here. Whoop. And then, yeah. I think we're good. Now we can climb in here. How are we doing so far? Okay, we've killed over a thousand. Got about 200 more to go. Not too bad. I still don't get that bug. I really don't. So that's kind of the ticket of where we're going. They're eventually going to lower down some... Actually, we can see them now, I think. Yeah, so those are slowly lifting up. we got to hit a few more switches to make them go even further. that switch. I think that did it, actually. We're gonna find out in a moment. Let's go and start putting on some armor, because the next part's kind of our final challenge here. Okay, it's about as good as it's gonna get, I think. Alright, now we can... Whoop, no. We can walk across these blocks here. Dip, 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 dip. Uh, yet another pile of arch vials. Are you surprised? Shouldn't be at this point. We hit the switch and summon in a whole bunch of shit. Come on out. Alright, something else should be spawning. There we go. Go ahead and activate those. comes this part. And then last, but certainly not least, is all those fuckers inside that laser cage. Which we can deal with thusly. Yeah. And boop. Oh right, that's right. Molotars show up too. How could I forget? Oh, all sorts of things are showing up.
Excuse me. Thank you. I don't know if we can kill these things based on the amount of mana we have right now. We just have to make a run for it. Okay. Well, we just had to make a run for it then. 56 minutes. Not too bad. <laughs> Jesus. So there you have it. That's Eve Eternity. Um, some absolutely beautiful designs for sure, as I mentioned before. But God, that level <laughs> is just a little bit much in some ways, I have to say. A bit extreme. But some people are into that sort of thing. I mean, normally I do like Slaughter Wads, but maybe not so much when I'm playing Wrath of Kronos. <laughs> but eh, you know, such as it is. Well, I hope sincerely that you enjoyed this playthrough. One of my longest playthroughs in a long time. Um, and I guess we'll just see what happens next at some point. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. And I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Alright, later.